Now Resident Evil 5 is the first game I played in the franchise. I do have some great memories with it. It's nostalgic, but I don't care. I'm going to call any game out. Despite the hate, this game is still one of Capcom's best sellers. It sold over 13.5 million and ranks first on the list as Capcom's best selling Resident Evil, with Resident Evil 4 being second and Resident Evil 7 being third. But of course, people were probably salivating for the next game when 4 dropped. Why did didn't people like Resident Evil 5? So let's start with the first thing, an obvious point. It didn't live up to its predecessor. Resident Evil 4 made a mark in the industry and is hailed as one of the greatest games ever made. It set the bar. So when 5 dropped, people were like, if 2 plus 2 is 4, right? And 5 plus 5 is 10, okay. What the fuck is this? I didn't see it. The biggest reason people dislike the game is probably the lack of survival horror. Diehard Resi fans of the classic three, Code Veronica and 4, they were used to like the dark atmospheres, cheap jump scares and chilling background music. So going down the action route probably made the game unrecognisable for its fans, even with the iconic characters. <laughs> Resident Evil 5 was the first game in the franchise to feature co-op gameplay. However, co-op gameplay doesn't really suit a game that's meant to be survival horror, does it? Most horror games are single player. It adds to the tension and creates a scary atmosphere for the player. Also, it's literally why Resident Evil became popular in the first place. On that same note, if you're playing by yourself... Wait! You're not going alone! Ooh. Sheva honey, she gives me PTSD. Now I don't know about the easy and normal difficulties, but Sheva is literally impossible to play with on veteran and especially professional. If you know, you know. She oh. blocks you from getting an S rank. I mean, when you get slightly hurt, she wastes your sprays and then she runs two miles to go pick up coins off the floor and get shanked on the way and dies. Thus, <laughs> I can't believe I'm saying this, but maybe Ashley's smarter. At least she docks. And this is extra, but do I just in time for the fireworks show? Boom! <laughs> now, Leon is known for his jovial personality in Resi 4. I mean, he's got the swag. He's Leon oh! S. Kennedy. People be quoting him to this day. To this day! Chris, on the other hand, hmm, I mean, he fine, but his humor kind of draw. The only thing he really be saying is SHIVA! So as you can see, there are a variety of reasons why it may have failed with the fans. But that was back then. Maybe opinions have changed? Okay, so we already know that Capcom's remaking Resident Evil 5. Spoilers! At the end of Resident Evil 4 Remake, more specifically the DLC Separate Ways, there is an extra scene at the end. Basically, Ada mailed her fission and defied Wesker. But Wesker has a backup plan in the form of Krause's dead body, which he's probably going to use to engineer Ouroboros, the virus in the fifth game, which Wesker uses to infect himself. But I don't know if that's what they're going to go with since Resident Evil 4 was slightly different. Let's be real, this game is probably going to get a complete overhaul. They may take away co-op entirely and go back to their horror roots. Hopefully they have Team A on it though, so it doesn't turn out like Resident Evil 3 Remake. Basically Capcom's Team A developed both Resi 4 Remake and Resi 2 Remake. Team B developed Resi 3 Remake and we know how that turned out. Team B actually started developing Resi 4, but they wanted to strip everything. So Capcom took them off and voila, Resident Evil is one of the best games again. Anyways, with all due respect, I still love Resident Evil 5 despite its flaws. I've played it a gajillion times. It's super fun if you're playing with someone. I can't wait to see what Capcom does with its remake. I hope you enjoyed the video. Like and comment down below so I can interact with y'all and I'll see you in the next one.